Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Bridget and I'm here to give you the confidence you need to make the artwork of your dreams. In today's video, we are painting a watercolor butterfly. Jumping right into the video, we are drawing our butterfly in our sketchbook or on a plain piece of paper. Using all the methods I taught in my how to draw anything video, we are drawing very, very lightly so that we can easily erase our mistakes. Mark out how big you want your piece to be and draw the shapes that you know and then build off them. The lines you draw are mostly to help you know where you want each of your colors to be. Don't worry about detail, just focus on the location. Once your drawing is done, flip your paper over and using the edge of your pencil, shade where the lines show through. If you have a graphite transfer paper, you can skip this step. Place your watercolor paper, yes, that's right, you need special paper for watercolor paints, underneath your drawing. And if you are using a graphite transfer sheet, place that in between. Make sure you keep it in the same position. Trace over your drawn lines, checking once in a while to make sure it's all lined up. You should be able to see the new lines, but they will not be bold, which is good. We don't want them to be bold. We want them to be light, so that way they won't show through when we paint over them. What happens to paper when it gets wet? Regular paper becomes weaker and disintegrates, and watercolor paper warps. So minimize the warping by taping it down. The first paint technique is wet on wet, meaning the paint is wet and the paper is wet. Using a watercolor brush in a small medium size, add a thin layer of water on the petal that you are working on. I recommend working on one petal at a time. If you put a little bit of paint into the wet paper, the color will spread. As the water dries, the spreading or bleeding of the color will lessen. You can create some really cool effects when you learn how to control this.
I added salt to the flower center because salt both absorbs excess water, but also pushes water away. So when it dries, it leaves this spotty textured effect. The second paint technique is wet on dry, meaning the paint is wet and the paper is dry. This gives you the most control over the paint and color. Something I noticed with watercolor, particularly with this effect, is that watercolor dries with a crisp outline. It doesn't fade into the paper unless you make it do that. With watercolor, it is important to work in sections. Leave white dry space between colors as they dry. Otherwise, they will bleed into each other. Also work from light to dark. Start with your lightest colors and gradually go darker. I painted the colorful parts of the butterfly's wings before the black parts. Work in layers. I recommend experimenting with painting on top of partially dry and completely dry sections just to get to know how it works. But do this on a different piece of paper, maybe not on your final piece. If you accidentally splatter some paint, you can use a clean, wet paintbrush to erase it and then dab it away with a paper towel. If you accidentally make the paper too wet, you can dab it with a paper towel to absorb the excess and wait for it to dry before trying again. Basically, paper towel will become your best friend. <laughs> I use a fine, long detail brush with the wet on dry technique to paint the black parts of the wing. I did a very risky move of adding yellow next to the wet black, don't do this, wait for it to dry, or avoid the edges at all costs, hold your breath and pray. <laughs> When the paint has completely dried under the salt, brush it away with a dry, clean brush. And there you have it, one beautiful watercolor butterfly painting. This took me about two hours to paint, mostly because I had to wait for the parts to dry. If you like this video, give it a like, comment below what you want to see next, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching!